Hi, this is Dale Caffey with more of the great things happening at the Waco Independent School District during the summer of 2015. I'm out at the Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy. I'm with Mr. Lara, who is a teacher here. Fabian Lara teaches welding and three soon to be seniors, two of which are from Midway, one from China Spring. This is Andrew, Bryce and Colton. We'll talk to them in just a moment because they've been doing some actual work out here at the Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy this summer. Uh, Mr. Lara, uh, tell me a little bit about the structure we see behind us uh, and it looks almost complete now. What's it all about? Really, we're just building a steel building for our grinding booths, being that uh, everything has to be done outside. Noise, dirt, we really want it outside so we don't have it inside with the machines or the students and trying to breathe it in. So the idea was to have this out here uh, in order to have the facilities able to available to them. Of course, the idea is to have an extra facility outside, but also give students a chance to do some work. Uh, tell me about the, the work that they've done so far and the experiences that they have. So we pretty much started on with the construction process from the foundation. The foundation was already in. Uh, so we start with squaring everything up, trying to get everything cut and prepped to be able to start squaring the building up and then uh, welding as long as with everything else that goes with it. Talk about some of the materials that are helping to put this all together. So we have different types of uh, tubings. We have 4x4, 3x3, and 2x2. Really are the most uh, structural key components to it and then we welding them, assembling them in order to uh, build the structure. And it's giving these students a chance to use the welding skills that they somewhat obtained last year here at the Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy. Talk about some of the, the problems that they're facing and, and, and trying to overcome as they make these welds. Well, uh, being that these guys are new, really, uh, there's a lot of mistakes that had been made, but was just fine because that was the purpose of the program. So working through those mistakes, understanding how and what we can do to be able to fix them uh, was the biggest challenge at first, but now these guys are rocking solid. Uh, so the biggest problem that we have is this tubing is thin. So welding with high amperages is not a very good idea. It's super easy to blow a hole in this thing. Mm -hmm. So we have to turn it down, make sure that we have a good arc length, good technique in order to have uh, good welds going into the, the building. Uh, as I mentioned, we have two students from Midway, one from China Spring with us today on this project. Uh, and again, this Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy is for students throughout Central Texas. We have them from all over. Uh, talk about the opportunities that students have by coming to Guama. I like to say that we give them opportunity to make money. That's the bottom line. They're here to learn a trade, a skill that's not easily obtainable. This is something that not everybody is able to do, but the people that are actually doing this are making really good money. So that's the whole idea. We have people within the business community in Waco that are supporting us and trying to hire these students as soon as they get out of here. I'm going to talk to you a little bit more about your educational background. You actually come from La Vega, but we'll talk to you in just a moment. Let's talk to some of these students. This is Andrew, and Andrew, give us your full name and where you're from. Andrew Bradley McAdams, and I'm from China Spring, Texas. China Spring, okay. Tell me about uh, what you've learned this summer in putting what you learned last semester into action. Well, we learned a bunch of uh, blueprints and how to measure, how to use a tape measure, and how to basically weld. So it's been a great experience. Now, you are being paid, too, for this. And so how does it feel to finally get paid for, for doing something that you're learning? feels great. I mean, $10 an hour and I'm not even graduated. That feels amazing. Uh, tell me about what your future holds in store. Hopefully I go pipe line welding or uh, oil rigs. I don't know. But yeah, it's going to be welding for sure. Very good. So tell me about what coming to Guama has meant to you so far. Well, uh, I don't know. It's just, it's a really cool experience. Uh, not very many people from China Spring are, are allowed to even come just because troublemakers. But yeah, I'm just glad to be one of the few students that gets to come and experience this. Well, you've had a great opportunity this summer and congratulations on uh, the work you've done. Thank you. Okay, then we'll talk to Bryce here. Bryce is from Midway. Bryce, give us your full name. Bryce Douglas Anderson. Very good. Bryce Anderson from Midway High School. Uh, I'm going to ask you a lot of the same questions that I asked Andrew, but talk to me about the experience you're having this summer. Uh, it's great. I'm learning a lot. 
from what we're doing. And I've learned, like, it's, I don't know. Have you made any mistakes? <laughs> yes, I made a few mistakes. <laughs> but are they easily overcome and you learn from them? Yes, sir. Very good. What has coming to the Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy meant for you so far? It's meant a lot to me. It's taught me a lot, a lot of helpful things I can use on my own. And what, what do you see in the future as far as your career? I'm going to go to TSDC for two more years and then go find a full-time job and then hopefully work on Pipeline. Very good. Very good. Well, it sounds like you're on the right track, and congratulations on a great job this summer. Thank you. Okay. Colton, A, B, C. See, I know my alphabet. Colton, you're also from Midway. What's your last name? Uh, Llewellyn. Great. Colton, tell me a little bit about your experience and what you're enjoying about working this summer at Guama. Well, um, welding is something I've really came to like and um, I mean it's made me better because I'm getting hands-on experience out here and getting paid for it so and it don't get better than that. Talk a little bit about some of the things you're learning as you put the skills that you learned last semester in action. Well, uh, my beads they are getting better my cuts, everything, measurement, I'm getting better at measuring, just everything all around. Very good. Uh, what does the future hold for you? Um, I'd like to go into uh, welding on power plants and stuff like that. Very good. Well, you did a great job, and congratulations to all of you students. Thank you so much for joining us today. Fabian, Laura, this is what it's all about. I mean, you've been around young people for a while now. I mentioned you are a La Vega grad, right? Absolutely. And then you sort of went off to where some of these uh, guys are going to go off to. You did all sorts of construction welding. Talk a little bit about uh, where you went to from La Vega. Uh, so I was in the dual credit program with La Vega. So I was going to TCC, got my first year certificate, well, the one year certificate out there. Went straight to work right out of high school. I was making uh, $27.50 an hour. Wow. It was really good money for an 18-year-old. The only downside is it's 80 hours a week. So, I mean, if you want that kind of money, you're definitely going to have to put the work in for it. Mm -hmm. So, welder skill directly is in correlation with welder pay. So, depending on what you do in your welding technique, field, whatever you want to call it, that's going to be the, the greatest uh, decision for any of these guys to make. If you notice pipeline, power, line, power mm -hmm. plant, that's going to be on the spectrum that they fall. Right. So, being that going to TSEC, they help hone, sharpen all those skills with the technical side as long with the manual side that you have. So there's a direct uh, contact with everything that you're going to do out in TCC. So for me, uh, getting my associate's degree out there was a big help. I wouldn't be working here right now if I didn't have my associate's degree with TCC. Right. So um, coming from that same setting, these guys are out starting young with the welding and the program, it really just uh, took me off and it set me ahead, way ahead of all of my other classmates right now. Yeah. So comparing myself with my other classmates and grads, uh, I'm doing pretty good for myself. Yeah. Then you came back and actually taught at TSDC, is that yes. correct? Yes, for sure. I uh, t taught for six years out there at TCC Great. as an instructor. Now this would be my second year here at uh, Guama. And obvious question, I mean, uh, we're glad to have you at Guama. Uh, what is it about Guama that you enjoy uh, as far as teaching goes? Well, the best and the worst thing are the students. <laughs> um, but I, These are all yeah, great students. Right? These are all great students. We, we do have uh, a lot of success stories. Like, I mean, they can't talk about everybody, mm -hmm. but uh, we do have a lot of good kids that have graduated from the previous year as, long, as well as this year that have uh, really good job opportunities, bright futures ahead of them. So that's the, the greatest thing for me is to be able to help somebody out, make a difference. Okay, we have some soon-to-be juniors out there in TV land and some underclassmen as well who might be thinking, wait, that's something I want to check out. I want to check out Guama. First of all, I want to give you a chance to plug Guama, but also talk about the registration process, where we are as far as the juniors next year and, uh, and in years to come. Well, um, counselors, the high school counselors are the first place that you need to stop. Make sure that you uh, have the credits and be, are be able to actually uh, participate with the program. Uh, as far as any advice that you want to come and try this, be ready to work. That's all I have to say. You have to be able to have that mindset of coming in, and this is pretty much a job coming in here. Like I say, they go to class a couple of weeks, and all of a sudden then they're out in this shop 
putting welding into action? Oh, absolutely. We're going to cover safety, going to go over what and why you're doing certain things, not just throw you out, out into the, the ocean or the lake. So we're going to definitely cover step by step what we're going to do, talk about it, and then go in and make sure that we're doing it safely. Great. Fabian, Laura, thank you so much. Congratulations on a great job this summer. That structure looks great. Guys, that structure looks great. Uh, keep up the great work. Oh, absolutely. Thank you, sir. You bet. This is Dale Caffey reporting from the Greater Waco Advanced Manufacturing Academy, where young people are getting a chance to put their skills to work.